Well, thank you so much, uh, Muna Al Gurg, for joining us today. You're welcome. Um, you are definitely an inspiring woman to have um, involved in our social outreach, Best Brands Marketing to Women. Thank you. So, can you tell us first, from your perspective, what your responsibilities are in your business? Right. So the Algo Group is made up of 23 companies and 25% uh, of the companies uh, are in retail, mainly home lifestyle, so um, furniture, home appliances. And so I, I'm the director of retail for those brands and I look into all the brands that are in the malls and across the UAE and even across Oman. Um, so I work on the retail brands such as ID Design, Better Life, um, interiors, those are the brands that I work on. Great, so today we're going to focus a lot on your pers perspective mm -hmm. on marketeers and how they understand female consumers as a consumer, right. but feel free to bring in any elements relating to your business uh, as well when, when suggesting brands that you may have worked on. Yeah. So why don't I ask you the first question then? Mm -hmm. Uh, as a female consumer, uh, do you think that marketeers generally in the Gulf region are understanding or keeping up with the changing attitudes of female consumers? I believe they do because um, I see a lot of brands investing a lot of financial investment and time uh, into research. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that uh, one of the challenges in the UAE is that we do have over 180 uh, nationalities living here. So obviously uh, targeting women within those uh, you know, over 180 nationalities is, is going to be a challenge. But I do see a lot of focus groups and a lot of research done where um, you know, uh, brands have to. And if they do not, then they lose out, out on such a big segment mm. of of the uh, society. So basically, I do see quite a bit uh, done for females now. Mm -hmm. yes. And what about specifically for Arab consumers, mm. in terms of the changing attitudes of women in the Middle East as Arab consumers, yes. not necessarily the international consumers. Right. Well, uh, I mean, if you only have to put on your TV channels, particularly during Ramadan, <laughs> and you will see how um, Arab females are really sort of targeted during that month. But then again, having said that, it's very much uh, quite stereotypical um, and, and, and at many times quite patronizing towards uh, females. And, uh, and I think, I mean, perhaps later we can speak about what can be done better to uh, target uh, a wider variety of mm. females, mm -hmm. not the stereotypical uh, female who is uh, perhaps a homemaker, which is a, obviously a very respectable job, but uh, there are many women out there who, who are breadwinners also. So those are the women that have to be targeted more, perhaps. So then, why don't we go straight into that? Mm. What do you think marketeers should be doing more of? Mm. Well, I feel that, um, you know, uh, I think that uh, a brand needs to sort of speak to me and I need to relate to a brand. And so, um, you know, obviously women, yes, they do make decisions uh, based on emotion, etc. Uh, but women need to relate also. So let's say from my perspective as a businesswoman, if I were to see a brand that is speaking to me uh, as, let's say, uh, part of the breadwinning, uh, you know, uh, segment of the household, um, I think that uh, it would relate to me much more. Uh, so le let's say, for example, if we take a fashion brand, I recently saw uh, a campaign where a fashion brand um, uh, took uh, various females from the society but were successful in their careers and they were wearing that brand and it's sort of I could relate to that because it's you know I I could see what she was wearing to work I felt perhaps that would be something that I'd like to wear I could relate to her success uh, so I feel that that's what uh, could be done more for women, other segments of the society in terms of uh, women and oh, females. That's yeah. great, that's a great example. So do you have any other examples of campaigns, perhaps even that you may have worked on within your group, mm. um, that you think are resonating with female consumers? We've done a bit of research and uh, statistics show that 93% of women uh, who make decisions in terms of consumer decisions uh, and buying behaviors are women between the ages of 40 to 60. So, and those are high uh, sort of big ticket uh, decisions in the household. 
Um, and so uh, one of the campaigns that I really enjoyed working on was um, the Who Are You campaign by ID Design. Um, and ID Design, again, uh, caters to all types of, uh, you know, that's furniture. Uh, Scandinavian, very sort of contemporary furniture. But again, we knew that the UAE is made up of very different women out there. Um, and so we had four different segments. We had the deluxe, which spoke more to the woman who, uh, the, the woman who basically is, uh, she likes the glamorous lifestyle, perhaps she, you know, she sort of likes to have a lot of parties. And then we had, um, and, and there were different categories. There was the uh, global woman who likes to sort of uh, go on adventures all over the world, likes to travel the world. Mm -hmm. Uh, so what is the type of furniture that she'd like to see in her home? Uh, the urban woman, which was the younger social media kind of woman who, you know, has perhaps a, a job in an ad agency and, you know, so what's the type of furniture? So I think that uh, it resonated in the female's mind and it sort of made sense. Uh, and it really was a successful campaign for us because... Um, those are the type of women that make up the UAE, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, and they could relate. Then it wasn't just a product; mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it was a lifestyle. And so I think uh, you know that's one of the best campaigns that I worked on that really worked for female consumers here. Brilliant! Thank you very much. This has mm -hmm. been fantastic. Thank Great you. insights. Thank you, Christina. Thank <laughs> you. Lovely.